Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a, uh, not a review, but it's a, what in the world is Bath & Body Works doing this holiday season video. So, uh, we all know Bath & Body Works normally does repackages this time of the year, um, but this year has been a really, really weird year for Bath & Body Works. Um, they hit the ground running back in late September, early October with the Camp Winter Collection, uh, which is what you'll see there on the left. Then they came out with all these weird, just word sayings like, uh, we whisk you a Merry Christmas, and uh, baby is cold outside. So like, you know, sayings from songs and play on words there. Uh, so Campfire Donut was one of their uh, releases in the Camp Winter Collection, and it got lots of attention from everybody in the uh, internet community. And it was supposed to be something that was weird, you know, something different, uh, something that, you know, they haven't really tried before. Well, it turns out that they did. Uh, it was, it's apparently the failed test candle of uh, chestnut glaze croissant, I think. I believe that's what it, what it is there. Um, I don't know. I never smelled that, but that's what people are saying. Because uh, it neither has a campfire scent to it. Like, there's no spoky, smokiness. There's no embers. There's no anything that would remind you of a campfire and there's also no donut in there at all there was no like dunkin donuts or a crispy cream donut scent in there at all so uh it appears that all signs are that camp winter is going to be replaced with this um collection on the right because most of the scents in camp winter except for frozen lake and Snow Mountain Lodge have been seen in this new packaging. And Campfire Donut, when it was going through test, was an awesome candle. It threw well, it burned well, uh, it had a great scent. And then once it passed test, and then they released it uh, in the regular lineup, it performed poorly. The throw was bad, the scent was off, it didn't burn too well um now then they started doing different versions of it so there's currently i think like two or three different um versions of campfire donut out there the one on the left this guy um is what i believe is a test candle i checked some of the batch code on the bottom uh, and i'll show that to you there if you guys want to take a look oh, that's gonna have to focus there we go. Uh, the A2, I'm pretty sure it's a test candle. I'm not 100% positive, so you guys can let me know if it is or not. But it is very sweet. Uh, it's, a, it's a sweet, sweet scent there compared to some people have said that it's very yeasty, uh, very bread like. Um, I didn't really get too much of that. I got like the sweet funnel cake, um, carnival scent there, powdered sugar scent. I didn't really get a bakery scent per se uh then people are saying that the the new version of campfire donut the one on the right there i'm not sure what that collection is called um presumably this is going to be the camp camp winter replacement uh i love i love that label labels are actually pretty nice on this um it's different so this is a, a different batch code it's a a one let's get that to focus there we go and I'll post these in my uh, in the notes below. Um, I haven't burned that one yet, but what I can tell you is that it's not as sweet as this one. Uh, this also has a plain, boring uh, top there. I think it'd be better if they just kept this with that. But who knows what Bath and Body Works is doing this year? I don't even think they could tell you. It's uh, something crazy. But uh, I, I love this scent. I love it. Um, Snow Mountain Lodge, I did a review on that. Uh, go check out my review. Check out um, Doug over at Spooky Villages. Uh, check out his review. Um, th this Snow Mountain Lodge candle that I'm talking about here is probably their most unique scent that they've had this season. It is very good. The throw is great. Uh, the scent is just, it's the pine with, uh, that would be a campfire scent. Snow Mountain Lodge, that should be not campfire donut but it should just be called campfire because it is literally the the scent of a 
of a fire that you just put out. It's those burning, you know, the, the golden red glowing embers of that with the smokiness and the pine. You know, if you put a little bit of pine needles in there. Um, the, the, it says it has patchouli essential oil in it. Um, but just like this campfire donut, I don't pick up any of the essential oil. Campfire donut's supposed to have cedarwood essential oil. It's not there. Um, but the patchouli, if it's there, it's very vague and it comes in as the woody, earthy scent. Um, so check out our reviews, my review, check out Doug's review over there of uh, Snow Mountain Lodge, top notch candle. I have a feeling from what I've heard, it's not going to be around long. It's going to be one of those limited runs there, a barely pass test. Uh, my store had less than 20. Uh, I went to another store the other day, they only had one left. Uh, and there were no foreseeable shipments in the future. So, anyhow, back to Campfire Donut. Um, there is an A3 version out. I haven't seen it. Presumably it's in this this guy right there. And that's supposed to be even a lot more sweeter uh, than the first one there. So, I think they're, they're trying to get it right. I know there's been a lot of negative reviews about this candle um, on YouTube, on social media in general. Uh, I mean, people tend to agree that they like the scent. But it just has some issues with the burn, um, with the pooling and it, a slow burn. I know, um, you know, other other people have said it's been a very slow burner. Um, I haven't had that issue, but I, I tend to put these guys in hurricanes to keep the heat in and you know, let them pull pull quicker there. So, okay, guys, well, let me know what you think of uh, Campfire Donut. Once again, with as with Yankee Bath and Body Works, don't pay full price for these candles. Always look for a coupon that you can find. Uh, right now, today, they were twelve fifty, and then a 20% off on top of that. Uh, you got Black Friday coming up. There's always good deals around Black Friday. There's always $10 off 30s, always 20% off your whole purchase. Um, and then there's Candle Day. You know, Hopefully, they'll they'll be doing that this year with the price increase. I'm sure it'll be somewhere around $10. I think it was eight fifty last year. So with the $2 price increase on, on the candles... Uh, this season will probably be somewhere around 9 950 or 10 I would imagine but yeah who knows so all right guys well let me know what you think of these uh these two different scents or the same scent different packaging um like comment subscribe all the above all right appreciate it guys